Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh and this is Working Man Reads. Now today I'm going to be giving a book review to the fantastic science fiction novel Outpost by W. Michael Gear. Now, um, if you haven't read Michael Gear before, um, join the club because neither, neither did I until I went to the library with my daughter and my family, and nice little family Saturday trip to the library turned into uh, my second favorite book so far. Might be my, I don't know, it's toss up. We'll talk about that at the end of the year. But pro my second five star review for 2022. And yeah, it's, I just love it. Why is this such a sleeper? Why has nobody read this? I, I've never heard of it until literally I've seen it. And I'm like, this is great. And spoiler alert, I enjoyed it. You know what I'm saying? Like, now I'm not spoiling the book, but the review is, check this damn book out if you like sci-fi, if you like dark, gritty sci-fi. Um, but, yeah, so let's get into my ratings for it. So, plot, I gave four stars. Let's talk about it real quick. You have a colony of people who are basically cut off from uh, an intergalactic power that I believe is basically Earth. Uh, we have now migrated and we are trying to find a new home world. And this is called Donovan, the planet that they are on. And it is way out there in the far outskirts. And basically they rely on shipments of stuff from um, the home planet. There was a name for it, but can't remember. It's Earth, but they call it something different. Um, yeah. So ships keep disappearing and they're not making it to them. They don't know that. They just think that they've been forgotten. So they are basically martial law. They're trying to survive this planet that is very reminiscent of uh, Foster's uh, Midworld. And so there's giant creatures that will eat men. There is just, it's just drama. You know, and then you have basically they, they are creating their own uh, political structure. They have their own hierarchy of people. Um, and then a ship arrives and the power struggle and drama ensues from there. But really, you just fall in love with the characters. You fall in love with Donovan as it's as a planet. Um, if you had told me that this was nonfiction and, and there was an actual planet out there with these people, with uh, Talia and Trish and Sig and all these great characters that uh, Greer writes or Gear writes, I, I would say that, that that's entirely possible um, because of just how, how how the book was written really great. Um, characters gave five stars. That was my. I literally feel like I was part of this crew of people, and it has me wanting to read more. Um, luckily, there's like four more books in the series, and then yeah, I want to find more colonization sci-fi. I would love to find more character work like this. I need to read more of this gentleman's work. I think his wife writes as well. So yeah. Fantastic. Five stars for the characters. Writing, four stars. Uh, the, the dialogue was great. I'm a sucker for good dialogue. Uh, I haven't talked about it yet, but Roadside Picnic has the best dialogue of the year so far that I've... I've it's just tough to get real. It's tough to get accurate uh, with dialogue to where you're like, these are real people talking. This is not bull crap. This is an actual conversation between two people trying to figure something out. Uh, so absolutely adored the, the writing. Uh, it was nothing crazy, no overly descriptive stuff. Uh, just clean, good writing. Four stars might be a little much. Could be three, could be four. But I really wanted to give this book five stars, so I had to, I had to, I, I just went to four on it. You know what I mean? Fight me on it. It's cool. Uh, horror, I gave three stars. Not a horror book, but for, I have a dark, I like horror. I'm not gonna lie, love it. Uh, and I find the horror in everything. If you haven't noticed the book cover, uh, that is an actual, this, this is a scene in the book. I'm not going to spoil it because I want you to read it, but there's some, this is not a very nice planet, okay? It's not a very nice thing, space, and and creatures, and there's a lot of horror in this book. I know it's sci-fi, and, you know, take it how you will, but yeah. Uh, fun, five stars. Absolutely adore this. I want to read more like it. Please tell me any other books by this gentleman that you would recommend or uh, books similar um, where you have colonization sci-fi. I'd freaking love it. Uh, so five stars. Working Man Reads says, please read this. 
Uh, yeah. So, so that's it. That that's that. But I'm gonna read the synopsis here. So if you're gonna click off, I appreciate you. Uh, thank you for stopping by, and may you have a fantastic week. All right, so Outpost, Donovan, Book 1. Donovan is a world of remarkable wealth and habitable paradise of a planet. It sounds like a dream come true, but Donovan's wealth comes at a price. When the ship, Turalon, arrives in orbit, Supervisor Calico Aguila discovers a failing or a colony. It's government overthrown and a few remaining colonists now gone wild. Donovan offers the chance of a lifetime, one that could leave her the most powerful woman in the solar system or dead. She's not even the main character. She's the main character is Talia. Um, planet side. Oh, we're going to talk about that. I don't read synopsis if, that, if you haven't. I just jump into things. Um, do you guys do that? Let me know down below. Uh, planet side, Talia uh, Perez is or tail as they call her, is one of the three rulers of the Port Authority colony, the only law left in the one remaining town on Donovan, with the corporate ship demanding answers about the things she's done in the name of survival. Perez could lose everything, including her life. For Dan Worth, Donovan is a last chance, a psychopath with a death sentence looming over his head. He can't wait to set foot on Port Authority. He will make one desperate play to grab a piece of the action, no matter who he has to cor corrupt, murder, or destroy. Uh, Captain Max Taggart has been, there's a sticker over it, the corporation's go-to guy when it comes to the cold-blooded military enforcement. As the situation in Port Authority deteriorates, he'll face the toughest choices yet. I'm not even going to finish. Uh, yeah, fantastic. So you have multiple pers uh, more, multiple points of view. Multiple points of view. And uh, yeah, freaking loved it. I don't even know what else to say. Go check it out. Hope you guys have a great week. Bye.